I want to turn now to Yahoo Finance's Ethan Wolfman. He's here to tell us about all of the biggest investing lessons from this year. Hey, Ethan. Hey. So I was thinking about uh, 2020, and obviously I think there are a lot of opportunities to have uh, some takeaways and some learnings. Obviously, there's no guarantee of learning a lesson after a you know, trying experience, but we can at least try. And I think the biggest one is that you know just a complete – uh, master class in the fact that we cannot see the future and are terrible at predicting. This is something that uh, we obviously know uh, academically, but uh, constantly are making errors like that. But one thing that I think is really interesting is, you know, even if uh, some of the forecast earlier, you know, in 2019, looking at 2020, were to see some, you know, bullish things like we see now, who would have predicted, uh, you know, that the, the pandemic take hold and still uh, finish with this incredible bullishness. I mean, I, I think that um, I think that coming into 2021, uh, a, a large dose of um, real humility uh, is, is a big lesson. I think also, you know, the unthinkable really can happen. I think there was some American exceptionalism that came in thinking that, oh, what happened in China won't happen here. Uh, we saw that at least from you know the, the, uh, our political leaders, and then I think as the market was in denial in the early stages before it crashed, and then I think on a more sort of personal finance note, it's worth thinking about dollar cost averaging and rebalancing really look good uh, for individual investors coming out of this. You, know, you would have done very very well to have continued uh, buying on a regular basis. You know your four hundred one k is a great example of that. And rebalancing when the market crashed uh, would have worked really well. Um, and, and I think that the, the last thing I, I really want to highlight is we have a lot of new investors in the market that uh, may, you know, have made some mistakes early on. But, you know, I've been hearing from a lot of uh, investment advisors that people are doing a lot better. One thing that will, uh, you know, one hand that will come home to roost a bit later is the fact that capital gains for people who have been day trading uh, that is going to be a perhaps unexpected expense uh, for people who have are lucky enough to have gains uh, as you know owning uh, for less than a year results in a different tax treatment. And obviously, uh, you know, we don't usually have money withheld. So I, I think there's a lot to learn, and probably lessons will be continuing um, to make themselves clear. You know, I had to laugh, Ethan, when you mentioned capital gains taxes matter, because you and I talk about taxes quite a bit on Yahoo Finance. And it's interesting. I have seen a lot of new traders in this market deciding to day trade in 2020 as they were sitting at home. And it is one of the things that I have seen a lot of folks forgetting about, that tax time will be coming around and Uncle Sam will definitely be wanting his cut. You can all read about those investing lessons from 2020 on yahoofinance.com. Thanks so much, Ethan. Thanks, Kristen.